Well, we're here today in Duxford, which uh, for several reasons. First of all, from an engineering point of view, it's our straight line aero test. Uh, we're actually mapping the car, so we're looking to check that the car behaves full size as it does in the wind tunnel in CFD. Uh, but also, perhaps more importantly, we're also running the new floor for Barcelona and doing some work on that. Just about to go out for another run with that one. Um, but also, uh, well, a very special day because um, we had an announcement that uh, uh, we've bought Caterham cars and uh, they'll be part of the Team Lotus uh, family, uh, which I think has great synergy with Team Lotus and the Caterham 7 and uh, also thirdly great to have a lot of fans here today because it's open to the fans and also the Caterham uh, show team putting on a great show so all in all um, uh, a real good day and the sun shining. Well the, the real importance of the aero testing is to ensure that um, the car performs on track aerodynamically exactly as it's performing in the wind tunnel because we obviously develop it in the wind tunnel but if that simulation isn't accurate and we're not modelling the correct things then um, things that we think are an improvement in the wind tunnel won't be an improvement on the track and we won't go quicker. So what this is all about is checking that the results we get from the car exactly mirror what we see in the wind tunnel and in CFD. So it's very important for our aero development program. Well, I mean, aerodynamics are important for two reasons. One, the downforce we generate, which is basically just a force pushing the car down on the ground. So as you go around a corner, you've still got a lot of aerodynamic load pushing the car on the ground and it can generate more grip. Secondly, you want to reduce drag, uh, because when you generate downforce, you also generate drag. So the less drag you have, the quicker you go in a straight line, the quicker you accelerate, and the higher your top speed. So getting maximum downforce for minimum drag is the key to performance in Formula One. Pit stops are going to be crucial this year, and we're doing so many of them. And uh, it's good training for them at the start of the year. Also good training for Ricardo Texera, a young driver. Uh, they need to learn all the disciplines involved in the pit stop. Um, so it's, it's just make sure everyone's on edge because now if you're doing three or four pit stops a race, you know, uh, being absolutely on top of the game is vital.